Hello everyone, so today I'll be talking about my veneers. I just got them done Wednesday, yeah Wednesday, and today is Saturday. So I got them done for a couple days and I'm really excited to show you guys this because I've been not able to film for the past couple days slash two weeks because my temporaries broke off the second day and I'll show you footages of what my original smile looks like and what my temporaries look like and just footages of the procedures. Hello everyone, so right now I'm going to Southland Dental Care and I'm getting my veneers done. I didn't film this earlier because I wasn't sure if I'm going to get them done but um, I went for my first appointment for the x-rays and just uh, consulting for the prices and all that and I decided to get them done. These are my teeth right now. My main concern is that my teeth are really small and as I grow older and grind my teeth more, they're just gonna get smaller. I think it's over here. This is what my teeth looks like right now. And I feel like the camera makes it look whiter but in reality, it's not that white. Yeah, so. And I just want to show more teeth when I smile. Uh, yeah. Uh, see you guys later. I think this time I'm going to whiten my teeth first. Okay, so right now I'm at the dentist's office. I'm getting my whitening session. Um, just waiting for pictures in the whitening session. It's going to be three rounds. First one is mild and it just gets more intense. So um, I'm a little nervous and let me show you my teeth. So uh, these are my teeth. And this is my view. Um, yeah, I feel like my teeth look like toes. See? <laughs> they do look like toes. Anyway, yeah, these are my teeth. So see you guys later. So I've been opening my mouth, I can't even talk for so long, I feel like I lost all sensation. <laughs> Why not? That was so funny. Yeah. Rinse already? Yeah, rinse. Yeah, and my lips are like, uh, odd. So I've been opening my mouth for a long time, my lashes fell off by the way. I've been opening my mouth for a long time and now my lips are puffed up like Kylie Jenner. <laughs> is that is that how she got her lips? Probably not. But um I kind of like myself with like thicker lips. I guess I should go to the dentist more often, huh? This is um after the whitening procedure and uh they say this will look whiter, I think, after a couple days. Um, I just have to let it sink in and not have anything dark. I can't have any coffee, tea, anything that stains, any berry, any red meat. So that's going to be difficult, but um, I'll try my best. So yeah, this is how they look right now. This is after taking away the cavities and the things that might cause problems. This looks really weird. <laughs> Thank you.
so it's not like as noticeable, I guess, but um, at the same time it's like so fragile, so I guess I just have to be like extra careful. And it happened again when I was uh, sleeping. I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh. They always say it's not painful, but it always ends up being a bit painful. So yeah, this is what they look like right now. <laughs> yeah. I just had soil and I hope it's not like brown. And I would say that veneers are definitely something that I always wanted to get ever since I was a little kid. If you guys follow my Instagram, you'll know that I wrote a short post about having veneers done. And I've been wanting these since 12 because I was born with really small teeth, baby teeth, that looked adorable when I was younger, but as I age and my face structure grows like larger, like more wide apart, the teeth just looks really odd on my face. So I really wanted to get larger looking teeth. I wanted my smile to be more prominent. I think it's fair to say that my teeth weren't crooked or they did not look black or deformed by any means, but I still wanted to have just bigger teeth, longer teeth, and I got them. And I got them done at Selden Dental Care because I did a lot of research. I went on Yelp, I went on YouTube. I pretty much watch every single veneer video on YouTube, especially the ones in LA because I want to go to a place in LA since I'm in LA right now. And so I would say it's a really big decision for me, both as like you can only get your veneers done like so many times in your life. One, because it's like super expensive and two, they have to sort of grind down the things that they have to grind down to put the veneers on. So it's kind of a big, big decision for me. So yeah, I did a lot of research and read a lot of Yelp reviews, did a lot of Googling, blah, blah, blah. And I finally found Southland. I found them through a YouTuber's channel. I'll link her channel down below. And I just saw her transformation. And my teeth is nothing like hers because she wanted her, I think, teeth to look like her front two teeth, if that's what you call it. But I wanted all my six uh, teeth to look longer and larger, like this. So we did not have the same concerns, but I saw her transformation and I was like, wow. I want to go to a place I can make that kind of change for someone. And so I went and um, I talked to Dr. O'Brien and he's absolutely sweet and nice and so friendly. I have a huge fear of dentists and I had really horrible experience with like numbing and needles and, and all that jazz. It just, it just freaks me out. So I was really afraid going in and even on the questionnaire, I said, yes, I do have a fear of dentists. So, I was really scared to begin with, but Dr. Avayan, he's absolutely, like, his personality is just so great. He obviously loves his job, which is always a plus, and he's always joking with everyone. He's always having fun, and it kind of made me feel better. Like, sure, I was still scared, but not as scared, and, uh, 
everyone there is really nice. They always ask you like, how are you feeling? Uh, is this okay? And uh, sometimes they can't avoid having some kind of discomfort like with x-rays or with grinding down your teeth. Like there, there is nothing that they can do to uh, make this 100% pleasant, but they always ask you, um, how are you doing? They always explain every procedure to you and uh, they also apologize about the discomfort that you're feeling or the pain that you're feeling and even though these are I would say not completely like relevant to how you actually feel like physically but um, psychologically it does make you feel a lot better just having someone to reassure you to tell you what they're doing uh, before they drill down your teeth um, to uh, tell you about the next steps, to explain why they're doing each step, like that just really reassures me. And uh, I'll also tell you about the length. So I'll list all the dates right here. The entire procedure I would say took around a month. So if you want to prepare for a really big event in your life, you probably want to plan ahead of time. There is no guarantee if the lab can get it done within two weeks. For me, they said the lab can get it done within two weeks, but when it was two weeks later, I checked with them and they said the lab still needs a little more time. So I was actually a little worried because I wanted to get this done for my graduation ceremony. And talking about the price. So the price is pretty high. And even though I do YouTube videos about luxury branded stuff, like luxury items, luxury bags and whatnot, the price is still high in my opinion. They charge $1,700 per tooth and if you want a transformation for your smile, I would say at least get four to six and they recommend eight. But um, I got six. And so added together 1700 times six. But then I did negotiate with them. I told them that I make YouTube videos and they did give me a huge discount. It's $1,000 per tooth. They also allowed payment plans. So if you want to chop it down into a couple of months, like I think it's 24 months or more, uh, then you can negotiate with them. I would say even $1,000 per tooth is a huge chunk of money, but at the same time, this is something that I always wanted to do. So if this is something that you want to do and you have the financial means to reach that goal, I would say definitely consider it. And after my experience with Southland Dental Care, I would say that they are trustworthy practitioners, uh, dentists, professionals, and they will give you a pleasant experience with veneers. Absolutely do your research and um, don't just watch one video and decide. I think that's just too soon and uh, not enough time for you to decide. This is something that is pretty much permanent. This is a huge investment and huge decision and they'll actually have to grind down your teeth to some extent. For me, they grind down a little more because I had cavities in my mouth. So for my grinding down session, I did get injections for the numbing process, but when I actually put the veneers on and they also did some minor grinding and smoothing, they actually did not numb me because I told them not to. I'm just so afraid of needles that I just did not want to be numbed again for the second time I went there and uh, yeah this is my smile and this is my before and after thank you so much for watching don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so see you guys next time bye